ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದಿರಾಧಿಕರೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ್ಚ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧು ಬೆವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನಿ ಭವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಪಂಘೈತಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಜೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೂಜಯೋ ದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರು ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವನ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದಂ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಮಿಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲಭವಾದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟ ವಿಸ್ಫೋರಜೀತ ಕಮಿ ಗಪವಧೂಷು ಅದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರು ಸಸಾಗರು ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಿ ಖಗಾಂಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸಿಯಾದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕ ಬದಾತು ಶಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕವಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯುತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರು ನಿಜವರು ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲು ಬಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದು ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ಬಂಧಿ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಚದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇಣ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾನಸಿ ಕುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಯಸ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀಹಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹ 
हरे हरे मन्ने धनाजन रूप तप श्रुत श्रुत ते यभाव बल पौरुष बुद्धि योग नाराधना ही भवती पर सपुंस भक्ता तो तोष भगवान गजजूथपाय मे धना विजन रूप तप श्रुत ते यभाव बल पौरुष बुद्धि योग नाराधना ही भवती पर सपुंस भक्ता तो तोष भगवान गजजूथपाय गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत पापा जगत गुरु टोल देर इज नथिंग सच देर इज नथिंग सच एट्रैक्टिव थिंग व्हिच कैन फॉर व्हिच गुरु वैष्णव खेल एट्रैक्शन देर इज नथिंग इन दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड फॉर व्हिच गुरु वैष्णव कैन फील एट्रैक्शन They are beyond any material influence. Gauriya Goshti Pati Sri Sri Labhakti Sri Dhanta Saraswati Goswami Jagat Pohapad Jagat Guru told, "There is nothing in this material world for which Guru Vishnu can feel attraction. Nothing is there because they are doing bhajan absorbingly, and also many times I told." रसोवर्य रसोपास्य परम दृष्टा निवर्तंते इफ यू आर गोइंग टू सी वेरी वेरी नाइस थिंग यू आर गोइंग टू गेट देन श्योरली यू आर गोइंग टू लीव अवॉइड टेकिंग डाटी थिंग्स अफकोर्स इज डिपेंड अपॉन कृपा इफ यू आर नॉट एंजॉइंग कृपा ऑफ गुरु वैष्णव देन डाटी थिंग यू कैल थिंग इट इज गोड इट इज नाइस Prabhupada speaking in this respect. Prabhupada speaking one very nice in you know story. Prabhupada speaking those who are following pure devotional activities, those who like to satisfy Supreme Lord from heart, their only effort is to satisfy Supreme Lord. Nothing else. They have no personal interest. Nothing. Baba speaking. There was some crane. Crane mean one kind of special bird, staying in dirty place. Follow. And one swan was going through there. And those crane, bok, bagula in Hindi, in Bengali bok. we say a special bird mm. taking fish everything from water follow log those in our crane they are asking to rajhansa where you stay why your eyes and all lay everything very nice red color very nice why what is your identity Rajhansa speaking, my name is Rajhansa. I am swan. Where from you are coming? The screen is asking. Actually, I am coming from Manas Sarovar in Himalaya. It is Manas Sarovar. From there I am coming. Oh, really? What you can find there? Well, the air surrounding situation is so nice, so pure. That you cannot even imagine. What 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 you are eating there? Actually, there is some lotus flower. I am taking some you know core point of you know that lotus flower. Very nice. The surrounding situation very good. Cool water, everything like mirror. There is. Like crystal, very clear. Different kind of flowers are there here and there, and in the water itself, we can find some lotus flowers. Then those crane asking, 
that in Manusarabha, there we can get some, you know, there we can get some, you know, some snail, snail mill, shamuk in Bengali. In water, it is a very dirty thing. Very dirty thing. Rajamsa speaking, no, no, no dirty thing is there. There is everything clear. Very nice. You cannot get this kind of dirty thing there. Then all this crane, they are laughing. Ha ha ha. Eh? Useless. If I cannot get snail there, how what I can eat? eat? There should be some, you know, dirty thing. Otherwise, what we can eat? I was comparing this thing that sometime those who are having annavilas, different kind of desserts, Papa giving this example, Papa speaking, sometime it is seen in this material world, those who are having annavilas, different kind of desserts, Shuddha Bhakti, Shuddha Bhakti, Shuddha Bhakti, no, Shuddha Bhakti or pure devotional institution. What is their purpose? Material people, those who are having annavilas, different kind of desire, sometimes they are jokingly asking. They are with joking mood asking, what you can do with pure devotion? What is available there? What is your, what is your, you know, pure devotional institution, society doing? They are doing nothing. When they hear that they are not going to they are not going to discharge their material duty, like arranging some clothes and medicine, everything, then they are laughing. If it is not there, what use? Your institution. What you can do? They don't understand Sheva Dharma. They understand how to give treatment of pox, plague, corona. This they understand. Medicine, cloth. So they don't understand the mood of pure devotional institution, Bhaddajiv. They need eternal benefit. They like to discharge some duty so that they can do something material for, for bonded soul. But we, Prabhupada speaking, we are going to we are going to do something eternal for bonded soul, but they don't understand. Bhaktagon, those who are pure devotee, what is their principle? What they want to do? It is their main principle to get in touch with Supreme Lord, to serve Supreme Lord, at the same time, they are trying to do something good, benefit, eternal benefit for bonded soul. Those who are Krishna Bhakta, they never can follow material track, material principles. This material world is busy with some legal or illegal activities ethical activities, different kind of material principle, but the pure devotees, they don't care for that. They are only busy with seva. The sloka I started with is there. It is from 7th Cantro. Prahlad Maharaj doing Nishinga stop. Prahlad Maharaj speaking, I think, Material appliances, taking birth in a very nice family, Janma, and bodily capacity, Astitian finances, Tapasya, Pandita, Pandita, and very sensitive. Sense organs, everything, 
Teyaha Mane Kanti, very beautiful figure, everything. Cannot Pragya, Ashtanga Yoga, everything, different kind of things. Those who are not, those who are not, you know, going to satisfy Supreme Lord. Supreme Lord can only become satisfied with pure devotional activities. Because Gajendra, Gajendra, what you can find with Gajendra? Elephant body only. Nothing you can find. But Gajendra was showing bhakti to Supreme Lord. That's why Prahlad Maharaj saying, Manne, manne, I think so. Manne dhana bijana rupa tapaha sruto, sruto yaha, te yaha prabhava bala paurusha bodhi yoga, naradhana yahi bhavanti parasha pungso, bhakta tutosha bhagavan, gaja yutapaya. Bhagavan is only satisfied by bhakti. Bhakta aham ekaya labhya. You can remember yesterday I was discussing this point. Actually, Naraji Maharaj glorifying the great devotee Prahlad Maharaj. Vritrastena Brahmana Parthito Ya Srimad Padam Bhuja Mule Nipatya. Tishtan Uttapo Tamange Karabjam Dritto Angeshu Nishinghena Lira. That I was discussing yesterday. When Prahlad Maharaj was requested by Brahma Sankar, specially it is written Brahma here, yeah. when in Bhagavad Brahma Sankar everything. Specially it is written. When Prahlad Maharaj was requested by Brahma to approach Nishingadeva, Bhagavan, Supreme Lord, because Brahma was very fearful to see this kind of figure, fearful figure. But Prahlad Maharaj very easily, without any fear, going to approach and going to pray prostrate at Dandavan and to lotus feet of Nishingadeva. And immediately Nishinga Dev going to catch him and going to help him to stand uh, and come to him and going to put his lotus hand on the head of Nishinga Dev. Actually, Prahlad Maharaj not going to fear. Prahlad Maharaj speaking, Naham Bibhe Mite Ati Bhayana Kasyo. Jyuhar Konetra Bhukta Bhusha Agradangstat Anta Srajaha The Sloka, he was speaking Khatajo Sanku Karanat Nirhad Abhita Digabhadari Bhinna Nakhagrat Prahladma is speaking, I am not going to fear your fearful figure But I fear this dangerous material sansar This material world This material world I fear by looking the condition of this material world. I don't fear your fearful figure. Naham bibhe mite ati bhaya anukasyo jyohar ko netra bhukuti rabaswa agradang stat anta srajaha khatajo kesaro sanko karanat nirhad abhita digabad ribhinna na khadra bhinna na khadra Trasta asmi aham ke panavasalo dushagra Sangsar chakra kadanat grasatam pranitam Bhagavan, I fear this material world. How people taking risks, how people taking risks to lead their material life, dirty life. This way, when Prahlad Maharaj was requested by Brahmaji, then very safely, he was, hey, my son, why not you approach Nishingadev, Bhagavan Prabhu, because Bhagavan appeared, Supreme Lord appeared for you. 
for you. After that, I was discussing Jaschitro, Jaschitro Chitta Groha. What I am discussing? Jaschitro Chitta Groha Chaturi Chayair Usrijyamanam Harina Parampadam Brahmadi Sangpartham Upikshakevalam Brave Asho Bhaktim Nijo Janma Janma Su it is very surprising because Nishingadev was requesting Prahlad Maharaj to take some benediction, boon. Even Sankar Brahma can always praying for that. But Naraji Maharaj saying to Prahlad Maharaj, but you didn't you didn't care it. Care meant money. You never wanted to take it because you wanted to maintain pure relationship with Supreme Lord. There should not be any self-interest in between you and Bhagavan. You thought that way. That's why you never wanted to ask anything from Supreme Lord. But Supreme Lord repeatedly wanted to request you. Please you take something. I am coming here. Ultimately, yesterday I told Nish Prahlad Maharaj saying, you, I, you bless me so that no kind of desire, I mean the smell of desire cannot appear inside my heart. This kind of blessing I want. You can give me this kind of blessing. Kamanam hridu sangraho bhavatastu vinevaram in Vishnu Puran, it is written, Bhagavan Vishnu, in Vishnu Puran, it is written, yesterday I was speaking so many things from Hari Bhakti, from Hari Bhakti Vilas at the same time, from Hari Bhakti Shudo Dhoi, Hari Bhakti Shudo Dhoi, the book, this book. In Vishnu Puran, it is written, Vishnu Puran, Vishnu Bhagavan speaking to Prahlad Maharaj. Prahlad, I am very satisfied with the kind of devotional activity you have done. Yeah, I am very happy to see your devotional mood. You have done very nice, you know, bhajan. So, I am very satisfied with you. I, I am very interested to give some benediction to you. But, you know, and I am going to speak it, I am going to promise you that you have your pure devotional mood for me. You have your pure devotional mood for me, mood for me, that I know. And in future, it will increase. You can increase your devotional mood, bhakti, bhakti. But at present, you please take something from me. And Nishimuddha speaking to Prahlad Maharaj, you are going to show me, you are going to show me exclusive respect. You are going to glorify me exclusive way. But I usually love, you know, Bhagavan Vishnu speaking, I never want to I, I, I cannot enjoy watching your, you know, glories. You are, you are going to glorify me. That kind of devotion is not suitable for me. I don't like. I like to see very, very normal and natural, loveful relationship between my devotee and me. And also in Chaitanya Charitamrita, you can find that Krishna speaking, Aishadya Sithil Preme Nahimor Pita. Aishadya Sithil Preme Nahimor Pita. Aishadya means affluences. If there is some avi, there is devotee, devotee, but showing, you know, going to respect Bhagavan with some fearful mood. But Bhagavan speaking, I, this kind of, you know, relation I don't like. I like to see very normal and natural relationship between me and devotee. 
That's why in Chaitanya Charitamrita you can see it is written Krishna speaking, Aishadya Sithil Peme Nahimar Pito. These appliances, if appliance is there, but then in that case, that very natural, smooth relationship cannot grow. So Aishadya I Bhagavan speaking, Aishadya Sithil Peme. Follow. Aishadya Sithil Peme Nahimar Pito. If there is some appliance, you know, there, and this kind of mood, this kind of mood is there in devotee, in that case I cannot get enjoyment. I like to feel very normal and natural relationship, extremely loveful relationship. There, can, there I cannot tolerate any kind of beer of appliances or maybe, you know, Appliance as or <coughs> exclusive glory, glories you are going to glorify me. But I like to see normal relationship with you. Nishanko, without any hesitation to love, I like to see, I like to see, I like to see very normal relationship with you. You, I find some hesitation inside you, have some avi. You know, though you love me, I don't. But I like to see very natural loveful relationship. If I can find this kind of tension free or any tension mean, you know, and no hesitation, in that case I like you. Bhagavan speaking. I am eternally free. I am not under anybody's control. I am Sarat. But still, be sure, my devotee is going to bind me. Though I am eternally free all the time, nobody can get control over me. But be sure, still, I, I, I am under the control of my devotee their loveful relationship, I am under their control. I am Ajit, nobody can get victory over me. But still, Prahlad, I get defeated in front of devotee. Like the case, I, am, I can speak, the case with in Kurukhetra battlefield, Pitama Visho fighting, and Bhagavan Sri Krishna took decision, I mean, it was the promise on the part of Krishna that he cannot fight with anybody with weapon. But ultimately, and Pitama Visha took resolution, you will have to take weapon. So ultimately, it is the nature of Bhagavan, sweet nature, it is the sweet nature of Supreme Lord that though he is, he can never be conquered by anybody, but usually due to devotion, loveful relation, Priti, Bhagavan get defeated in front of his devotee. It's quite natural. This way, Bhagavan going to speak to Prahlad Maharaj. It is actually inner meaning actually. In the slok itself we cannot fight, it is the inner meaning. Bhagavan speaking, if some devotee, you know, going to leave all, all cut relationship with his relationship with, you know, friend, and father, mother, all relatives, everything, going to cut relationship with friends and, you know, relative, father, mother, son, all race and material relationship, and going to love me, only going to love me. They are going to, you know, my, my devotee, su such, such my devotee, who is going to cut all relationship with, you know, with friend, Father, mother, wife, all. 
any kind of materialism going to atiya sajan relative everything going to cut and going to love me only because that devotee can realize i am the only object of love in that case how i can leave them they are going to leave they are going to cut all material relationship and going to love me exclusively going to give full attention to my seva in that is how i can leave them in that case we can grow such a relation that aham bhakta paradhino hi asatantra ibodiyo i don't like to understand anything except my devotee they also love me so they only love me they on they love me only and also on my part i love them my devotee pure devotee think there is no no friend in this world except i myself they think supreme lord is their only friend i am saturated you know prallat i am eternally present i am totally saturated i am going to manifest different kind of leela my dibba janma karma my taking birth and different kind of activities i am doing different kind of leela dibba janma karma eh janma karma cha me divyam jo me vyakti tattva to takta deham punar janmo naiti mamit suharjun bhagwan speaking nishinga is speaking actually i am going to do different kind of leela only to fulfill the desire of my devotee only to fully fulfill that dear to says man othe he was so oh my son what you need if you need anything you speak out i like to give you benediction this kind of you know but we know that naraji ma speaking in spite of repeated request he wanted to pass away you told bhagwan i take your darshan i get your darshan that is more than enough for me that is more than enough for me very cleverly very you know bhagwan wanted to give you something but you wanted to avoid you didn't accept pure devotion life after life you wanted to get pure devotional mood life after life now point is that in number 10 shloka it is written naraji mara speaking to prahlad ja य स प्रभु प्रीतिम अपेक्ष पैतृक राज्य स्वयं श्री नरो सिंह संस्तुत संपाथिता शेषो जनो जनो उद्धतिया सीकृत तद्यानुपरु अत्र वर्तते प्रहलाद महाराज एक्चुअली नारदजी महाराज स्पीकिंग य प्रभु प्रीतिम अपेक्ष पैतृक राज्य स्वयं श्री नरसिंह संस्थित संपार्थिता शेषो जन उद्धतिया स्वीकृत तद्यानुपरो अत्र वर्तते हे परम भागवत naraji mara speaking somebody can put allegation against you if at all you are busy with pure devotion activity then why you are going to sit in the chair of your father i mean hiranyakashipu why 
because you are busy with pure devotional activity what need somebody can those who are ignorant they can put this kind of they can put some question that why prahlad going to take the chair of father no need is busy with that's why naraji maharaj is going to clarify this point या प्रभु प्रीतिम अपेक्षोपैतृक राज्य सयम से नरो सिंह संस्तुत संपाथिता शेष जनोद्रीतिया से कृत्व तध्यान परो अत्र वर्तते यह नारदी महाराज गोइंड टू क्लारीफाई दैट यू आर ओनली गोइंग टू सेटिस्फाई द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड you never wanted to take control over the sovereignty of this world i mean i mean you never wanted to sit in the chair of father hiranyakashipu whereas we know you are going to avoid different kind of benediction what nishingam dev wanted to give you so what to speak about this small thing small thing mean it is big for us but it is very small for prahlad maharaj whereas nishingadev want to give anything and everything whereas nishingadev ready to give each and everything whatever he want to do but prahlad maharaj never wanted to ask anything now how we can expect that that prahlad maharaj can take control over the throne i mean the kingdom of father there can be some question somebody can put question that prahlad going to avoid liberation also how is possible is going to you know you know sit taken you know in sit in the kingdom in the chair of father that's why naraji maharaj going to clarify that somebody can misunderstand but i know the reason that all your effort all your speaking going doing anything thinking all for the total satisfaction of supreme lord you never wanted to take control over the chair kingdom but you only wanted to satisfy the supreme lord and supreme lord wanted to give you the chair supreme lord wanted to give you the chair what you can do prabhu nishingadev when when you wanted to pray to nishingadev at the time of your stava in front of nishingadev you wanted to pray a very very you know exclusive thing while praying to nishingo dev yesterday i was speaking na i was speaking na i myself don't want to get free of this you know you want to give me kripa but i want to arrange kripa for all you want to give kripa to me but i want to arrange kripa for all asura boys because they are helpless who can help them except you you are the supreme lord i know they are material i know they are demon they are the children of demon you know but still if you want to deliver them it is very easy because you are supreme lord so you want to deliver me or why you want to give me benediction but i like to arrange kripa for all praye no deva munayu sabhi mukti kama maunam charand vijane na parasanista naitan vihaya kipanan vimukshe eko nanyam tadassa saranam bhramato nupase in course in course of their traveling through this 14 world i find nobody who can ship them in course of their traveling through this 14 world 
I find nobody who can save them. He was so compassionate to everybody, all jiva. So please you arrange kipa for them. Naraji Maharaj speaking, the reason for why, the reason for why Pallad Maharaj was bound to sit in the throne of Father, in the kingdom, the only reason that Nishingadev, I mean Supreme Lord, become, you know, very happy. Keeping in mind, keeping in mind this, you know, this matter, keeping in mind this, you know, this special thing, you never wanted to sit, but you took, you know, you never wanted to sit in the chair but, but to satisfy Supreme Lord because you already, you know, in the prayer, in the prayer itself, in, you know, to Nishingadev, you requested Nishingadev to deliver all common soul. So if you can sit in the chair, I mean, if you can act, if you can act as a king, if you can rule the kingdom, if you can sit in the chair of Hiranyakasipu, if you can rule the kingdom, in that case your exclusive devotional activities and all your activities can give the facility to bonded soul to understand what is pure devotion. In your prayer, he wanted to pray to Supreme Lord, Prabhu, you please deliver those souls. So Nishingadev wanted to allow you to sit in the chair in the kingdom and keeping in mind that Bhagavan will be very happy. That's why you agree to sit. Because if you sit, you are one, you are idealism. Because Nishingadev in September in seventh Kentro, Nishingadev already declared. Nishingadev already declared, O oh, Prahlad, if somebody wants to see the sample, I mean sample idealism of my devotee, I like to specifically speak that look Prahlad. If somebody wants to see the sample, I mean the idealism, sample of idealism of my devotee. Simply I can point you out, I can show them that look Pallad. In seventh canto it is written, Mad Bhakto Pratirupadrik. You are an example of my devotee. Mad Bhakto Pratirupadrik. If somebody wants to see the sample uh, of my devotee, I like to show you. So According to the desire of Nishingadev, you, you wanted to sit in the chair, nothing else. Now actually, point coming, Ya Sva Prabhu Pritim Apikshya Paitrikam Rajyam Sayam Se naro singh sangstuto sangpar thita shesha jano udriti chaya sekrito tadhyano paru atrabar tati. Narajima speaking, though you are sitting in the chair of a king, you are sitting in kingdom, but still you are always full of devotional mood. And meditation is always there, unbreakable. Your meditation, not that you are sitting in the chair of king, so you are feeling some disturbance, because the chair of king is rajasik, and rajasik means some initiative to be taken. 
from you know all the time and some kind of disturbance some some type of disturbance can be there but prahlad maharaj uh, naraji maharaj speaking you are not going to break your meditation of your bhajan full meditation is there not that you are sitting in the chair you are feeling some disturbance and your prayer from septa seventh cantro we know the prayer of nishingode i we know the prayer of prahlad maharaj in front of nishingode i already speak one or two prayano deva munoy sab sabhi mukti kama also i can speak another slok one or two is more than sufficient and also the slok i speak where prahlad maharaj going to express some anxiety for this material people how they are leading how they are going to take take risks to lead their material life how they are going to lead so dangerous they will i fear this and parlad mara speaking in seventh canto sakarma patitam bhavavaitaranyam अन्न अन्न जन्म मरणासन भीत भीत पश्यन जनम सपर विग्रह वैर मैत्र हंते तिपा हंते तिपार चर पिप्री मुर अद सकर्म पति भवैतरण्या मन अन्न जन्म मरणासन भीत भीत पश्यन जनम सपर विग्रह वैर मैत्र हंते पार चर पिप्री मुर प्रहलाद महा स्पीकिंग सकर्म पतितम भव वैतरण्य अकॉर्डिंग टू दियर पास्ट डार्टी एक्टिविटीज अकॉर्डिंग टू दियर पास्ट डार्टी एक्टिविटीज ऑल बॉन्डेड सोल्स दे आर फॉल इन इन वैतरणी ए बैतरणि वन गाइम नदी मेटेरियल ओशन मे मेटेरियल रिवर बैतरण्य भव वैतरण्य बैतरणि वन रिवर भव वैतरण्य मान दे आर फॉल एन इन टू द ओशन ऑफ मेटेरियल संसार प्रहलाद महाराज गोइंग टू एक्सप्रेस सम एंगजाइटी बिकॉज इज वेरी कंपेसनेट फॉर कॉमन पीपल That's why he is speaking, he is praying to Nishinga Dev, Nishinga Dev, Prabhu, Evam Sakarma Patitam, Baba Vaitaranya. Sometimes they are going to take birth, sometimes going to die, sometimes going to again take birth, die. Countless such cases. Somebody dying, somebody taking birth, somebody dying, somebody taking birth, somebody half dead, somebody become fresh. This way going on. and they all all those in a bonded soul they are full of tension because there is no surety and they are going to pick up some hostility with each other according to previous compa somebody thinking he is my enemy she is my enemy he is my enemy fight with each other सकर्म पति भवैतरण्य मन मन जन्म मरणासन भीत भीत पश्यन जनम सपर विग्रह वैर मैत्र हंते पर चर पिप्री मूर मद दे आर इग्नोरेन्ट प्रभु दे आर इग्नोरेन्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू दियर पास्ट डर्टी एक्टिविटीज दे आर ऑलरेडी फॉल एन इन टू द ओशन ऑफ बाबा वैतरण्य sometimes they are taking birth sometimes dying sometimes and after watching that each and everybody as if you know they are going to make some friendship with each other or somebody going to uh, pick up some you know grow some hostility with each other somebody thinking he is my friend somebody thinking he is my enemy let him kill let i let me kill him pashan janam sa para is my my is my son he is not my son he is enemy kill him 
this uh, passion after watching passion they are watching they are watching pasham janam sa par sa par is my friend my and is no enemy sa par vigrah vairam maitram vairam in enmity and maitram in friendship ho oh, bhagwan prahlad ma speaking i wonder they are just hypnotized by the spell of maya they cannot understand that atma tatva is the only tatva diversity they are watching they cannot see uni unity but a devotee can see unity and diversity and diversity in unity in diversity unity but they cannot watch prabhu i pray you i pray you because you are the only source you are the only source of absolute benefit if you say devotees and devotees also same tatva bhag bhagavat tatva if we like to calculate bhagavat tatva understand bhagavat tatva then bhagwan dam naam parikar vaishishto al parafarnaliya totally bhagavat tatva that's why pradana ji you are the only source of absolute benefit because you are devotee we know common people they are going to get benefit from devotee but devotee mean devotee mean all same adhyay gyan tatva na all devotee is dam naam parikar parafarnaliya but the all together is bhagavat tatva so prahlad ma no speaking lie it is proper you are the only source of absolute benefit who can get absolute benefit where how no other scope oh prabhu if you if you just desire if you just desire to deliver them it will happen like you know our what is devotee what name vasudev datta yesterday i was speaking about vasudev vipra and kushti vipra i mean uh, kurma vipra now i remember vasudev datta who is praying to supreme lord bhagwan i pray you supreme lord i chai janma mahaprabhu you can deliver all and each and every jiva of this brahmanda each and every jiva of this brahmando if please it is my prayer to you i deliver them then chaitanya mahaprabhu laughing and speaking i think krishna is merciful krishna is very merciful so krishna can fulfill your desire what wrong in it krishna is the owner of infinity brahmanda Krishna is the owner of infinity brahmanda and there is infinity jiva so if you pray if you if you request to krishna to deliver one brahmanda and all jiva they are in one, one brahmanda what wrong in it it is very easy for krishna 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 can do it very easily chaitanya mahaprabhu is going to give one example of fig tree fig you know dumu dumu fig tree You know, Mahaprabhu speaking in a fig tree. There is countless figs. You know, fruit. If one fruit going to fall down and somehow get destroyed, then it is not the harm of that tree. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu speaking this way. Also, yesterday I was discussing that. Mahaprabhu wanted to give kipa to Kurma Vipra, Vasudev Vipra, and Mahaprabhu wanted to request Amar Agai. Remember, when Supreme Lord is going to give you some instruction, when Guru Vaishnav is going to give you some instruction, remember this is very nice Siddhanta. Whenever Bhagwan is going to give instruction to somebody, whenever. Guru Vishnu is going to give give some instruction to you. With this instruction, 
obviously, surely, some power eh, can be translated into you. Follow. Like I can give the example of Tirupan Allah. In South India, one very, very low caste, very, very chandal. You know, those who are helping to burn the dead body, chandal. He was from that family. But when Ranganatham came in dream and giving, and giving instruction, well, you have to establish some big temple. Then Tirupanallal, when Tirupanallal, you know, got instruction from Supreme Lord, he started his seva by the instruction of Bhagavan. He wanted to fulfill the desire of Supreme Lord. But at the same time, you must remember, in ordinary case, in ordinary case, such a man cannot make big temple like Ranganathan temple, cannot establish. It is an exclusive kippah of Bhagavan Ranganath. Exclusive kippah. That's why it was possible. Whenever somebody thinking, I am a get picture, he is zero, he is not a picture. Even his life is failure. When somebody is going to keep self-confidence, then he is a material man. When somebody is going to cry, Jogota bichare kichu nahi pai tomaro koruna saro. Ho Gurudev, he Guru Vaishnav, if you want to scrutinize, if you want to check, if you want to check up my qualities, then you can get nothing. Only your causeless mercy is my treasure. So self-confidence, self-confidence is a word which is only applicable in this material world. In Guru Vaishnav, in Vaishnav, you know, field, we only depend upon the Kripa of Guru Vaishnav Bhagavan. That is the only procedure. Many times I told Papa speaking. Only and only we will have to depend upon the Kripa. Like one very small baby crying to get the breast milk of mother. The small baby cannot start agitation. You must give milk. Cannot speak. Very small. If at all mother going to throw that boy into garbage, that baby has nothing to do. Only and only going to depend upon mother. That I mean the sloka you can remember. You know that Brittasur. Oh Bhagavan, I like to see you. Ajata Pakshaiva Matarankaga Stannam Yatha Vasutaram Kudartha Priya Priyeva Vishitam Vishanya Manaha Aravindaksha Diddikshatam. Oh Prabhu. My mind like to see you. My want to see you. Prabhu, your lotus feet. Just like a small bird, chicken, very small bird. You know, very small bird. Just taken bath. Crying and crying and waiting for mother to come and give something in the face. Very. And the calf, very small calf crying to get the breast milk of cow mother. Nothing to do. So we should think always, we should always think we are helpless. Only we need Kripa of Guru Vaishnav, this much. So Tirupan Allah, in place of Tirupan Allah, if you think about one ordinary man, it is quite impossible for him to make such a great, you know, temple, big temple, and install Bhagavan, exclusive Kripa. So, if somebody is going to speak, I am a great preacher. I have done an exclusive preaching. All, everybody failure. Then surely, it is a stamp. Prabhupada speaking. Prabhupada speaking. It, I can show you. Prabhupada speaking. If somebody is speaking, I am a Vaishnava, I am a great preacher. Then it is, he is, a, he is a, you know, approved. He is stamped that he is not a Vaishnava. Follow. 
is a, is a marked is already marked that he is not a Vaishnava. If somebody is going to claim that way. So, the more you can do seva, the more you can grow humble attitude. Not false ego. The more you can do seva, the more you can grow humble attitude. Train other people. Otherwise, you are not. I am not Vaishnava. So, this way, Prahlad Maharaj very humbly, very humble way, going to pray to Nishunga Dev. Prabhu, if you want to deliver those, you know, Asura boys, if you want to, if you just, if you just, you know, desire to deliver those, what, what, what wrong in it? What trouble for you? Because you are Supreme Lord. Konu atro te akhil gur bhagavan prayaso uttarane asho bhavo shambhav lop hetaha mureshu boi mahadana graho arta bandho king te na te priyo jananu seva tam na I am already serving your I am already serving your devotee, Naraji Maharaj. He is my guru. So for, for my for my own benefit, I am not thinking. Anyway, I am going to get benefit. Absolute benefit. I am thinking about those, you know, poor boys, you know, Asura boys. Konu atro te akhil gur bhagavan prayasa uttarane asso bhavasambhavo lop hetaha Mureshu Bhai Mahadma, Mureshu Bhai Mahadano Kraho Artha Bandho, King Tenate Priyajananu Seva Tamna. Those who are elevated soul, big, big, and especially you are in a supreme, you know, Lord. Those who are, those who are great, you know, show, for them, this kind of this kind of mercy is quite natural. Whereas you are Supreme Lord, because you are Akhila Guru. Akhila Guru Mane, we see, we know he is my guru, he is my guru, he is my but you are Akhila Guru. Because in Sastra we know Krishna Bande Jagat Guru. Krishna Bande Jagat Guru na. We know Balaji Maharaj is the original Guru Tattva, but still Balaji Maharaj Krishna is non different. Krishna Bande Jagat Guru. Only the pack is Sebba Tattva, Sebak Tattva, but still Balaji Maharaj Sebba Sebak Tattva both. Prabhupada speaking. Only in case of the first expansion of Bhagavan, Krishna, first expansion of Gauranga. I mean, Gaur and Nityananda are non different from each other. Vasudev Goswami, Vasudev Mane Vrindavanda Astyakur Mahasaya, wanted to give this indication. Vasudev Goswami, I mean, Vrindavanda Astyakur Mahasaya, wanted to give this kind of indication in the beginning of Chaitanya Bhagavatam. Follow. Ajahanulambit bhujo kanaka bodato, sankir tonaika pitaru, kamala yotaksho. Everything in Sanskrit you can find singular number, dual number, and plural number. But in Bengali and English we find only singular number, plural number. But in Sanskrit, you know, you know dual number, do, do, two. So, Vrindavan Dastakar Mahasayam in the Basa Deva of Gaur Lila wanted to give us indicate that Sankirtana Ika Pitaru, both Gauranga and Nityananda are Sankirtana Pitaro, not Pita. Pitaro means Diva Chan. Follow. Ajanulambita Bhujau, both Nityananda and Gauranga. You know, Ajanulambita Bhujau, their hands. Going to reach up to knee. 
So, Krishna and Balaram, so Krishna Bande Jagat Guru, with this conception, and also you can take it that way, that all different kind of avatar coming from in each and every Brahmanda, all avatar, countless avatar, each and every Brahmanda, countless avatar coming from, eh? from whom? Garbhadu Gosai. And Garbhadu Gosai is the expansion of Balaram. Balaram is the expansion of Krishna. So, if at all Prahladma is speaking, what is your, you are not going to spend your energy. Bhagavan, what energy is there for you? What Shakti? You are, you are Almighty, you are Supreme Lord. You will have to take trouble. You will have to take trouble to deliver all those jivas. All you will have to desire. Prabhu, you will have to. Konu, konu atro te akhil guru bhagavan prayasu tarani asyo bhava sambhavo lopo hetaho mureshu vai madanu mureshu vai mahadanu graho artho bandhu king te na te priya jananu seva tamna Mahadanugro Arthabandhu. These were elevated soul. Naturally, they have some compassion for fallen soul. Arthabandhu. Those, those who are suffering in this material world, for them, they are expressing strong grief, pain. You know. So, Akhila Guru, the Akhila Guru with this word, Sambadhan, one day, you know, with this word, Akhila Guru, this, with this word, with this word, Akhila Guru, Prahlad Maharaj wanted to, wanted to request Bhagavan that Bhagavan, you are the only source of all absolute benefit. So, for you should express Kripa, compassion to each and everybody. With this Akhila Guru, this word, Prahladma wanted to indicate, Prahladma wanted to request Nishingadev Bhagavan that they are ignorant and you are the only source of absolute kipa. Where from they can get kipa? So, for each and everybody, you should show kipa, Prabhu, Uchit. Because all creation, creation, destruction and whole creation resting on you whole creation infinity creation resting on you you are the only source of creation although also the source of destruction also where they do bonded soul where they can go where they can search so Prahladma wanted to clarify this point that usually a pure devotee cannot have any desire to get the chair, la puja patishtha, position, rank, nothing. A pure devotee is like Purlat Maharaj, Naraji Maharaj is going to clarify this point. A pure devotee like Purlat Maharaj cannot have any desire to get la puja patishtha, nothing. Only Purlat Maharaj was ag agree. To, to take control over that, you know, chair, kingdom, to satisfy Supreme Lord. That is the point. Naraji Maharaj again going to clarify some point from different Puran, Baman Puran. I am going to collect this document from Baman Puran. Pranadma speaking, je, one day, he wanted to take darshan of Naimi Sharana. I am going to speak the slok first. Ya Pito Baso Angri Saroja Drishtvair Gachan Banam Naimi Sakam Kadachit Narayanena Habato Shitena Praktastaya Hanto Sadajit Osmi. What speaking? Ya Pito Basho 
अंग्री सरोजो दृष्टर गच्छन बनम नैमी सकम कदाचित कदाचित मान समे एक वन डे यू वॉन्टेड टू टेक दर्शन ऑफ द लोटस पीट ऑफ सुप्रीम लॉर्ड इन नैमी सारण्य बिकॉज इन नैमी सारण्य द लोटस पीट ऑफ भगवान इज फिक्स ऑफ देर फॉलो एंड बाई चांस इन द वे ऑफ यूर ट्रैवलिंग यू आर यू आर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स नैमी सारण्य बाय चांस देर वॉज फाइटिंग विथ नारायण इन द मिड वे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू कूड रियलाइज दैट ही इज नारायण सो नारायण नारायण हवतोषितेन प्रक्तस्तया हंतो सदा जीतोस्मी यू नेवर वॉन्टेड टू फाइट बट द पॉइंट इज दैट इन कोर्स ऑफ युअर ट्रैवलिंग यू मीट विथ वन ऋषि इज अ मैटेड हेयर ऋषि साधु ऋषि यू फाइन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू यू डिस्कवर वन मैन विथ मैटेड हेयर एट द सेम टाइम यू डिस्कवर देर इज गोइंग टू कैरी बो अ नैरो देन यू आर वेरी पायस यू आर किंग यू थॉट वॉट इज दिस जस्ट यू नो ऑपोजिट थिंग वन साधु ही इज मैटेड हेयर I see he is doing a study and pronounces bhajan, but why he is going to carry a bow and arrow just opposite, just just opposite just opposite symptom of a sadhu? She wanted to protest, and in the meantime, you wanted to protest. Hey, I see you are sadhu. Your breast, apron, everything is like sadhu. You are matted here. Then why you are going to carry one bow and arrow? You have some envious attitude inside your heart, eh? For any jiva, I can teach you. Then Prahlad Maharaj wanted to speak something. In the meantime, fighting to fighting took place. Ya pritobas angri sarojo dristoir gachan banam naimi sakam kadachit. नारायण ना हव तो सीतेन प्रक्तस्तया हंत सदा जीत अस्मी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू कूड नोट रियलाइज दैट दैट दस इन एनो दैट द मैन इज योर सुप्रीम लॉर्ड यू कूड नोट रियलाइज एनो यू वॉन्टेड टू टेक दर्शन ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड ए नैमी सारण्य बट इन द मीड वे यू मीट विथ सच ए मैन यू टूक डिसीशन टू गिव सम लेसन बिकॉज वॉट इज दिस आशादु कैन नॉट हैव एनी एनिमिटी एनवियस एटीट्यूड एनी बॉडी हिज फुल ड्रेस इज एप्रॉन इज इन साधु मैटेड हेयर तपस्या वेश But at the same time, going to carry bow anyway. This that. So wanted to protest. In the meantime, fighting took place. But you couldn't realize that in the in the apron of that sadhu, he is your supreme lord, Vishnu Bhagwan. You couldn't realize a big fighting took place. And you took resolution. I must defeat you. <laughs> you you took resolution. I must defeat you. Big fighting took place. Ultimately, uh, somehow for that day fighting was over because night time came. Next day, you know you wanted to worship Pralad. Next day, when you started worshiping your Supreme Lord, your Aradha Devota, out of your Exclusive devotional mood. You offered one garland there on the soldier of your Ishtadev, and that day also, in course of travelling, further travelling, you also meet again with the men. Again, you started fighting, but that day was excellent. 
That day you could realize, but previous day you couldn't realize because there was no symptom. That day, when you started fighting, you say, why? The garland I already offered to my Ishtadev, the garland I already offered to my Bhagavan and my Prabhu, in the morning time, same garland I discovered in the, in the soldier of that, you know, fighter, you know? That sannyasi, hermit, what is this? Oh, then he must be my Supreme Lord. Oh my God, please excuse me, Prabhu. I, you know, I couldn't realize, then fall down. Bhagavan laughing and speaking. Actually, I am always defeated. Actually, I get defeated in front of us. It is, a, you know, all the time, I am always going to get defeated get defeated in front of my devotee. So what's wrong in it? So you started praying to Supreme Lord to satisfy Him. Same case happened in the case of Krishna when fighting with Jambuban in the, in the cave, in the cave tunnel. Jambuban. Follow. Same thing in 10th canto you can find. Jambuban fighting with you know, Krishna Jamuvan couldn't realize there is my Supreme Lord. Next, he could find some symptom in the Bigraha of Ramchandra. Then next day, he could realize long time fighting going on. He couldn't realize. But the day he could discover this kind of, you know, you know, bow and arrow, he is throwing, fighting with this kind of symptom you find in the body of a Bigra, then you could realize, oh, he's my Supreme Lord Ramchandra. This way. When you could realize his Supreme Lord, so the slok you should remember, Ya Prito Basa Angri Saroja Drishtvair Gachan Banam Naimi Sakam Kadachit Narayanena Havoto Shitena Praktastaya hanto sada jito osmi. Bhagavan going to Bhagavan going to declare, O oh Prahlad, I am always, I am always going to be defeated by my devotees. Always I get defeated. Then you started praying. Then you started praying in front of that, you know, your Ishtadev. You couldn't realize first that he is your Ishtadev. Bhagavan wanted to test you. See Naraji Maharaj, you know, Naraji Maharaj speaking, Hey Vaishnav says so, oh great Vaishnav, you are successful to get victory over Mukunda. It's quite natural. Because Bhagavan is always going to be defeated in front of devotees. What to speak about you? Even, even the king of all Asura, I mean your grandson Bali, Bali Maharaj. Even your grandson Bali Maharaj, who is the king of all you know, Asura community, he is also successful to get control over Supreme Lord. Otherwise, why Bhagavan going to going to stand in the gate as a gate man? Prahlad, what to speak about you? Even your grandson, who is the king of your whole Asura, whole Asura community, he is also going to get control over Supreme Lord. Bhagavan Bamandev going to stand in the gate as a gate man. Eh? Who can get this kind of facility? You can see, you can search the history. You can go through the history in the bhajan field. Who is successful? Nobody is successful. Only you are successful. Even by your mercy, your grandson, Bali Maharaj also, so Naraji Maharaj speaking, Bho Vaishnava straight. Naraji Maharaj speaking, 
भो वैष्णव श्रेष्ठो जीते जीतो स्वयति किंग भो वैष्णव श्रेष्ठो जीतो स्वयति किंग बाच्यम मुकुंदो बलिना पी निर्जित पौत्रेण दैतेय गणेशरेण ते संरक्षित दारी तब प्रसाद Somebody can claim that maybe Bali Maharaj has some exclusive quality. Well, can be there. We are not going to ignore. But the kind of kipa Bali Maharaj going to get from Bhagavan, it is all the prasad kipa of Pralad Maharaj, not separately. In relation, in relation to Pralad Maharaj. In relation to Pralad Maharaj, Bali Maharaj was successful to give a cheap kripa of the Supreme Lord. Even grand grandson Banasur, he was successful to get kripa by the mercy of Pralad Maharaj. So originally all up coming from Pralad. Bho Vaishnava Shrestho Jito Staiti King. बाच्यो मुकुंदो बलिना पी निर्जित पौत्रेण दैत्य दैत्यय गणेशरे ने संरक्षित दारी तब प्रसाद हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल दैट बामन देव द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड गोइंग टू स्टैंड एज अ गेट मैन एज अ गेट मैन इन द गेट ऑफ सुतलपुरी आई मीन इन द गेट ऑफ बलि महाराज किंगडम Pallad Maharaj was crying. Pallad Maharaj was crying to declare. Pallad Maharaj was crying to declare this exclusive kipa. Pallad Maharaj was crying to to declare this exclusive kipa. Pallad Maharaj, out of loveful mood, going to speak. Prabhu, Nemam Birincho Lavate Prasadam. न श्रीर न सर्व किमुता परे ये जन्म असुरा नाम ओसी दुर्ग पालो विषाभिबंदर रविबंदित आंग्री वेरी नाइस यू कैन रिमेम्बर दिस श्लोक फॉलो नेमा बिरीच लवते प्रसाद प्रहलाद मास्पीकिंग न एमा बिरीचो लवते प्रसाद इवन बिरीचो ब्रह्मा Never going to get this kind of exclusive kipa. Nemam birinchu lavate prasadam, na sriir na sharavaho kimuta pareje. What to speak about Lakshmi, Sharvaman Shankar? No, nobody going to get this. Nemam birinchu lavate prasadam, na sriir. न शर्भ किमुता परिजे जन्म असुराम असी दुर्ग पालो विश्वाबंद रविबंद अभिबंदितांग्री यू आर ओर शिफ्ट यू आर ओर शिफ्ट बाय इन्फिनिटी ब्रह्मांड इसमें इन्फिनिटी कॉस्मिक वर्ल्ड गोइंग टू ओर शिफ्ट यू एंड दैट यू गोइंग टू स्टे As the gate man in the gate of Bali Maharaj, that's inconceivable. Even even dream we cannot expect. Nemam birincho lavate prasadam na sriir na sharabho kimuta pareje janno asuranam asi durgapalo bishabi bandai rabi bandi tangri. You are received. You are received by infinity world. That you going to stand as a gate man, as a gate man in the gate of Bali Maharaj. So what to speak? So we are going to pass this remark. You are successful to get victory over Ajit. Though we know Ajit Mit can never be defeated, but you are going to defeat Bhagwan. You are going to get victory over Bhagwan.
फॉलो मदन्न ते ना यनंती ना हम तेभ्यो मना गोपी भगवान स्पीकिंग अबाउट दुर्गा मनी एंड अम्बरीश महाराज दिस केस फॉलो भगवान स्पीकिंग मदन्न ते ना जनंती दे डोंट लाइक टू अंडरस्टैंड एनीथिंग दे नो नथिंग अबाउट मी ओनली मी आई मै सेल्फ मदन्न ते ना जनंती एक्सेप्ट मी Except I myself, they don't like to know anything. Madanna te no yananti na aham te bhio managopi. A little bit, I also, I also don't want to understand anything. I don't, I cannot see except my devotee. This is a mutual loveful affair actually. This is actually mutual loveful affair. Because infinity world going to worship, infinity world going to worship you, and that you going to stand as a gate man. What to speak? Even in imagine, we cannot even imagine. Even in dream, we cannot. How possible? That is your ex. That is the exclusive mercy of Bhagwan Supreme Lord for you. Because you are successful. to get victory over supreme lord bhagwan is under control that is your highness because you out of your exclusive devotional mood going to going to conquer the supreme lord ajit at this kind of same shloka mahaprabhu speaking in chaitanya chaitanya you can find Mahapro speaking. If you find one nice devotee anywhere, Krishna bhakti bhavita mati kriyatam jodi kuto pila bhate. Mahapro speaking. If you find this kind of mood of a devotee who is full of devotional activity, he is going to absorbing is absorbingly doing Krishna bhajan. He has no. He is going to forget about. His own body and body related things is going to forget. The exclusive thing in Chaitanya Charitamrita is Siddhanta. Also, it is one kind of reminder for you all. Don't forget, because out of false ego, we cannot identify a pure devotee. We are usually going to make mistake. We cannot understand who is pure devotee. Cannot understand because we have false ego. That's why you cannot understand. And at the same time, sadhu is also self-effulgent. If sadhu going to see your positive mood, then sadhu can express his own sarup in front of you. Then you can realize, out of your own calculation, intellect, judgment, judgment, you cannot understand which sadhu is not sadhu. So in Chaitanya Chaitanya also you can find same slogan almost: Krishna Bhakti Raso Bhavita Mati. क्रियताम जदि कुतोपी लभते एनी वेयर इफ यू फाइंड वन सच डिबोटी एनी वेयर इफ यू फाइंड वन सच डिबोटी एनी वेयर इफ यू फाइंड वन सच डिबोटी हु इज एब्जॉर्बिंगली हु इज इन एब्जॉर्बिंग मूड हु इज इन एब्जॉर्बिंग डिवोशनल मूड फॉलो इफ यू फाइंड सच ए डिबोटी is going to so absorbing krishna you know bhakti in that case you try to buy him try to buy him kriyatam yadi kuto pilabhate tatro loulla mopi mulla mekalam if you can get if you can get such a scope if you can get such a scope where if you can get such a scope Eh? Then you must buy that kind of sadhu, who is going to show absorbing mood, devotional mood, exclusive devotional mood. Surely, you buy him. And what is the price to buy that sadhu? Tatro lollo mopi mulla me kalam. Your strong affinity, your strong affinity, your strong desire, is the only price you will have to pay for that. कृष्ण भक्ति रसो 
कृष्ण भक्ति रसो भविता मति कृष्ण भक्ति रसो भविता मति क्रियताम यदि कुतोपि लभते तत्रो लोल्लमोपि मूल्यमेकलम जन्म कोटि सुकृतोयर न लभते <coughs> जन्म कोटि पर करोड़ सब बार यू हैव गोइंग टू गैदर सुकृति दैट इज आल्सो नॉट सफिशिएंट टू बाय that kind of sadhu so what price you will have to pay exclusive love exclusive you know tremendous lollo tenacity desire lollo eager desire strong desire strong affinity then you can get the keeper of that sadhu so इन चैतन्य चैतमित यू कैन फाइन दिस श्लोका कृष्ण भक्ति रस भाविता मति सो वी आर इन्फ्लुएंस बाय वैराग्य युग भक्ति रसम प्रयत्न ही रपा ययत माम अनुभिप्स मंधम अबाउट सनातन गोसाई वी आर मुफ्ड बाय द कंपेसन ऑफ सनातन गोसाई द वे ही इज हेल्पिंग आस टू गो अट इन भजन द वे He want to show us the comparative statement of Bhajan devotional mood. We are ever grateful to Sanatan Goswami. Who can help us that way, except Sanatan Goswami? So, Bhairag Bhu Yuga Bhakti Rasan, Raghunath Das Goswami crying and speaking. Some day we can discuss. Anyway, so the slok you must remember from Chaitanya Chaitamitra, Krishna Bhakti Raso Bhavita Mati, Krishna Bhakti Raso Bhavita Mati. क्रियताम यदि कुतोपी लभते त्र लौल्यमोपी मूल्यमेकलम जन्मकोटि सुकृत न लभते इफ यू गोइंग टू यू गोइंग टू एकुमुलेट ऑल योर सुकृति बर्थ ऑफ द बर्थ करोड़ सब बर्थ स्टिल दिस प्राइस इज नॉट सफिशियंट फॉलो नाउ Naraji Maharaj wanted to prove it. The Pralad, it is only, it is only in relation to you, your exclusive love and devotion and mood. Madhusudan, Bhagwan Sri Krishna going to express that kind of mercy on your grandson, Bali Maharaj, also your grand grandson, Banasu. All, you are the only source. Also, we can find some point from Prahlad Sanghita. In Prahlad Sanghita, there is, you know, you can find. We can find some point when Daruka Vashi, those who are residing in Daruka Prajagan, follow. In Pralad Sangita, Sangita counts the Sangita there. One is Pralad Sangita. In Pralad Sangita, there we can find in Daruka Mahato there is written. You know, in Pralad Sangita it is written. It is long ago. Don't think you know Daruka is eternally present. Don't think we can discover Daruka in just <coughs> Krishna make Daruka in just in Dapar Juk. Don't think that way. In Prahlad Sangita, Prahlad means a Satya Juk. So Daruka eternally present. Sometimes disappear, sometimes appear. Don't make miss. Don't misunderstand. Don't make wrong wrong Siddhanta. It is written in Prahlad Sangita. Those who are the inhabitants, those who are residing in Daruka, Daruka Basi. Kusho doito, one doito demon. His name is Kusho doito. Is very powerful demon. Is going to put pressure. They are going to put attract. You know, Daruka Basi unnecessarily, very dangerous. Follow. In Pralad Sangita, you can in Daruka Mahato you can find when all Daruka Basi they are feeling problem. By the attack of 
Kushodaitya Krita Parabhav. They are going to be defeated. Krishna was not there. Krishna is eternally present, but Krishna was not there that time. Then Durvasa Muni, Durvasa Muni took initiative. Durvasa Muni took initiative. Durvasa Muni straightway. Durvasa Muni took initiative. Durvasa Muni wanted to reach Shutal Khetra to bring Bhagavan. When Durvasa Muni took initiative to reach to reach Shutal Puri to bring Bhagavan. Because Bhagavan is there as a gate man. Bamandev, Bali Maharaj. Bali Nivas, at the, at the gate of Bali Maharaj's residence and palace, Durvasamuni took trouble to run there in Sutal to inform about the problem happening in Dharka. The ultimate you know, object, ultimate, you know. <coughs> The ultimate object was to bring Bamandev, who is standing there in the gate, and Vishnu Bhagavan as a gatekeeper. <coughs> <coughs> so, Durvasa Muni wanted to bring immediately. Durvasa Muni wanted, wanted to bring, you know, Bamandev, Vishnu Dev, Vishnu Bhagavan. to help Dharukavashi. But when you apprise, when, when, you, when you request Supreme Lord that you have to go with me, then Supreme Lord speaking, actually I am the get man. I am the get man, I have nothing to do, I have no liberty. So you will have to take permission from, actually I am the get man, I have no, I have no power. No liberty. I am going to carry out the order of Bari Maharaj. I am under his control. So why not to go inside that palace and request Bali, Bali Maharaj? You go. I have nothing to do. I cannot take any action. Then, na, actually, then Durva Samuni is going to enter the palace of Bali, Mahar and Bali Maharaj again to apprise all about the sensitive vulnerable condition of Dharaka. Birachan Putra Bali. If I can get Bhagavan Vishnu, I am mean Bamanda speaking, if I can get the order. If I can get the order of Bali Maharaj only and only then, I can go with you, not before that. After that, Durvasa Muni wanted to approach Bali Maharaj to request him, to apprise him, to inform him about the sensitive condition there in Daruga. After hearing, Bali Maharaj was not at all ready. Well, I am not ready. I am not agree with you. I cannot send my Prabhu with you for in the in the in the fighting field. Bali Maharaj, that prayer was not accepted by Bali Maharaj. Then Durvasa Muni started fasting. Fasting, you know, without water, without water and prasadam. Durvasa Muni wanted to wanted to die. <coughs> Anasan means fasting. Durvasa Muni started some you know agitation. Agitation in the way started anation. I mean fasting. When he was just going to die, then Bali Maharaj speaking, hey Bipro, hey Rishi. Whatever there in my luck, that will happen. And whatever you know, that will happen. You do whatever you like. Don't take my permission. Because I, can, I cannot agree. So, whatever there is there in my luck, it will happen. And whatever you like to, 
and 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 whatever you know that you do i cannot allow i cannot allow supreme lord the only object of my love to go to fighting field all brahma sankar all going to worship him how i can agree that prabhu can go from me how i can how i can agree how i can agree that bhagwan can go away from me whereas we you know already it is a commitment it is a promise of bhagwan i am not forcefully going to keep bhagwan bhagwan you know and i have some very deepful deep love, deep loveful relation with bhagwan i cannot leave my supreme lord whatever you like to do you can do against me but i am unable i am i am unable to leave the lotus feet of supreme lord every moment every day not every moment i am very interested to see the lotus feet of that baman dev vishnu and i i am not force i am not forcefully not forcefully i am going to keep baman dev it is his you know commitment he is going to stay so he brahman he bipro he durvasa muni don't be angry with me just i cannot leave my supreme lord it is my weakness you can think it is my weakness i cannot leave the lotus feet of supreme lord each and every fraction of second i am going to feel the lotus feet of supreme lord is there i feel very happy so this way actually the prayer was failure in front of bali maharaj so now now naraji maharaj speaking now naraji maharaj speaking that i am going to violate i am going to ignore the cards i am surely going to ignore the cards given by daksha that i cannot live in one place in bhagavatam it is written 11th canto bhagwan going to stay in daraka गोविंद भूज पालित इन द्वारका इट इज अ प्लेस टोटली कंट्रोल बाय सुप्रीम लॉर्ड देयर देयर द कर्स गिवन बाय दाक्षा टू नारदजी महाराज दैट यू कैन नॉट स्टे इन वन प्लेस यू विल हैव टू मूव फ्रॉम हियर एंड देयर हियर एंड देयर यू कैन मूव नारदजी महाराज लाफिंग वेल इट इज अ ड्यूटी ऑफ अ साधु टू ट्रैवल हियर एंड देयर that i can do the duty of a sadhu what wrong in it but that naraji going to violate or ignore the ignore the curse given by daksha naraji maharaj we we see from bhagavata we can find in naraji maharaj going to live in daraka for long time to see all the leela vilas of supreme lord here also naraji maharaj going to declare after glorifying prahlad maharaj naraji maharaj speaking though i know i am getting curse from daksha pajapati but i like to ignore and i i, I like to stay with you prahlad itah pravithi kartavya nivaso niyato atrahi maya bhi bhuyo दक्षादिशापम जुष्म प्रभावत देयर नारजिमा स्टार्टेड लिविंग इन दारुका बाय द पावर ऑफ कृष्ण बिकॉज इट इज नॉट ऑर्डिनरी प्लेस दारुका मित मोर देन वैकंठ सो नारजिमा थॉट ओके वेल देर इज कार्स देर इज कार्स गिवन बाय दक्षा टू मी but that cars cannot put any influence here in this area darka same thing naraji maras speaking now i have take, taken decision to
to ignore the curse given by Dakha Prajapati and surely I am going to stay here with you. Itaha praviti kartabhyo Itaha praviti kartabhyo Nivaso niyato atrahi Mayabhi bhuyo Dakshadi sapam Jushmat prabhavataha I mean, Prahlad Maharaj want to substantiate. I mean, Prahlad Maharaj want to prove that your devotional power is so powerful, that your loveful devotion is so helpful for me, that I can ignore the curse of Dakshya Pajapati. I never mind. I can stay. Here also, here also, Naraji Maharaj want, wanted to establish the glory of Prahlad Maharaj that he want to stay there in Daruka, you know, stay here in Sutal with Prahlad Maharaj permanently. This is also one kind of exclusive glorification of Prahlad Maharaj. Because, by the, because the, the, the devotional, uh, you know, the devotion of Prahlad Maharaj is so powerful that Naraji Maharaj can ignore the curse of Dakka Pajapati. Because that place is so powerful where Prahlad Maharaj is staying, it cannot have any influence there. So anyway, so Naraji Maharaj, it is a, it is a desire of Naraji Maharaj, you want to stay in Prahlad anyway. Now, next week we can start how Prahlad Maharaj gradually going to establish some point on the basis of which he want to prove, I have no devotional mood. Oh, unless you are speaking. No. So, till then you will have to wait. I am going to <coughs> stop here. Manne dhana vijana rupa tapaha srutau yaha te yaha prabhava vala paurusha buddhi yoga naradhana yoi bhavanti parasya pungsho Bhakta to Tosha Bhagavan Gajajutha Paya Manne Dhana Vijana Rupa Tapaha Sruta Yaha Te Yaha Prabhava Balapa Urusha Buddhi Yoga Naradhana Yohi Bhavanti Parasha Pungsho Bhakta to Tosha Bhagavan Gajajutha Paya Bancha Kalpatur Vasikapasindu Vacha Patitanang Pavanapa Vishnu Vyonamun